Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are here to share another success story from Lithuania. So as you know, ki abhi recently Lithuania mein visa process mein thoda sa change aaya tha and they implemented a TRP for all the applicants who are willing to go there on a student visa. So recently Ujwal Malani who's our student, he's got the visa and there here is his TRP card. So we're going to congratulate him first of all. Thank congratulations you. Ujwal. So Ujwal would you like to let our viewers know to which university you are going? So I've applied for Vilnius University in Lithuania and I'm studying bachelor's in mechatronics and robotics there. Okay. So Ujwal our students would like to know since you're going for bachelor in mechatronics and robotics program. So what was your background? Study background? So actually I studied PCM and uh, MP board uh, education state board. So yeah, and I scored 82% percent and uh, my high school graduate. Okay. Ujwal, how did you get to know about Indo-European? So actually I had a friend before and he suggested me for going for consultees and then as I searched in internet and all, so I got to know about Indo-European, so okay. that's all. Ujwal, uh, where are you from? I'm from Madhya Pradesh, okay. Neemaj. So you are from Madhya Pradesh and you're saying that one of your friends uh, suggested that you must be going for higher education abroad and you explored on internet. So when you explored for all these options and you got to know about us, how did you get in touch with our team? So actually I found the contacts on the website of Indo-European and mm -hmm. that's how I just got in, got in touch. And first of all, I, at first I met with someone, I don't know her surname, but yeah, she contacted me, then I further, it was like... Okay, so from our Delhi branch only? Yeah, from Delhi. Yeah. Okay, so when you uh, had a word with them, when you had your first meeting, how was it? Was it on online platform or you had to visit us? No, actually I chose uh, was online mo online mode of meeting, so okay. my, me and my father connected through Zoom only. Okay, so after that conversation and that meeting, you had that confidence sitting from that state without even meeting that we would be able to do your job. No, actually, the, the experience was good and the counsellors always are there. They are very friendly and com or, to be honest, they always compromise. So the, I always felt uh, very confident after the meeting and I just immediately got to know that, okay, so I stayed and Okay. said, okay, just apply for business like that. So you are saying after having a meeting with your counselor, you got the confidence that Indo-European would yeah. be able to help you get your dreams come true. Okay, thank you so much. And um, Ujwal, when you had this application process started, so were you required to visit us during any time here? No, actually I never visited Indo-European, but at the end when I had to come for visa and all submissions, then I came just for once. Okay. to get all my documents okay. arranged. So Ujwal, would you like to tell the students how your experience with us has been starting from counselling till this visa success? So according to my experience and what I have seen and what I have heard, so in the, the counsellors here are always com comparatively to others, what my friends have said, are very uh, genuine, very calm and very helpful. So whenever I had any issue, anything, even it is regarding something personal, and even it is regarding something, an application deal or anything, they've always helped me, so that's it. Okay. And um, so would you like you mentioned that your friends who had gone abroad for the higher education, specifically in Australia, they had gone to Australia and you opted for Lithuania through us. So why this difference? Why you didn't opt for Australia or any other country? So actually, of course, I cannot afford the studies of Australia, but uh, even though Lithuanian education system is quite developed and this uh, field that I've applied for mechatronics and robotics, mm -hmm. BTEC is quite well in, in uh, Lithuania. So that's why I chose Lithuania. Okay. So yes, students, as you can see, although all these students have a dream of going abroad for their higher education, but at times what happens, the programs are not there, or maybe if the programs are there, the tuition fees are not you know, affordable, the students have to bear a lot of expenditure which their parents or they themselves cannot afford. So in case you are willing to go for a higher education in multiple uh, domains, multiple areas like business, like arts or maybe engineering in any field. So you can come and visit us and have this opportunity to have the counseling and get the options of studying abroad in affordable universities in Europe which are widely recognized all over the world. 
okay and ujwal since all things for your applications have you know uh, been on place and you have this successfully your trp card in your hand so what suggestion or what advice you would like to give our future students who are you know looking for uh, looking for options to study abroad what you would like to tell them so i just want to tell our students that you just have to trust them just give do whatever they say and do whatever they tell you it's, it's okay it's all right oh, and right that's it not it yes so students one thing which is very important that yes everyone takes consultants you know services but the main thing is to have the trust in your agent so if you're applying to a uh, you know recognized or you know a well known agent then the chances are there that the person is not going to you know fail you anywhere they gonna help you get your success done so in case you are looking forward to studying at a university abroad you can always visit to us in any of the branches thank you so much and thank you ujwal and you. have a very wonderful journey abroad in your education press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update